heading over to my grandma's house and we're going to try to trap and catch this little rabbit that my grandpa has been seeing. Perfect. Right there. But grandpa, look at this. Grandpa, it's right there. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. Hope all of you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Now before we jump into today's video, I've got something to show you guys. We're having our very first giveaway here on the channel. Let me flip it around right now, show you what we got. Oh, look at that. What do we got there? We've got some Rhino Iguana t-shirts. So if you guys ordered them, great. If you didn't, now's your chance to win one for free. So I've got three sizes. I've got this adult large and you can see like the full design in this awesome gray color. Now these shirts are pre-shrunk, so you don't have to worry about them shrinking. So I've got an adult large and adult small. Let's take a look at that. A small and a medium. So what do you have to do to win this? Well, all you have to do is you have to go right now, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys are not subscribed already, you have to be subscribed to the channel. So go subscribe, first link down below. And after you're done with that, I need all of you guys to go and comment down your size. I'm gonna leave this open for about a week and a half. And after a week and a half, I'm gonna close it off and pick the winner. And now we're gonna jump into the main part of today's video, which is heading over to my grandma's house and we're going to try to trap and catch this little rabbit that my grandpa has been seeing for the past two days. He's called me and he's like, there's a little rabbit. And I'm thinking it's just a wild rabbit. We have wild rabbits here in Florida. You know, you'll find them running around. But unfortunately, people do actually dump their pet rabbit. So I actually had one probably about, about a year ago that someone gave me that actually was dumped on the side of the road. So I don't know about this one. He says it's small. I'm not sure what to expect. But I'm going to go there fully prepared. I'm going to go there with a trap, some food, and see if we can catch this rabbit. So the very first thing I need is a carrot because we're going to be setting a trap for this rabbit. You know, so let's see what do we got in here. Wow, we got all kinds of good stuff in here. And there we go. We have our carrot right here. What the heck's the hole? All right, perfect. We got our carrot. And right in here is the trap that we're going to be taking to my grandma's house. If you guys remember, I actually trapped my neighbor's cat in here, I don't know, a while ago. Probably like two months ago, and I've kind of left the trap there ever since. There we go. We got our trap. And now that we got our trap in the truck, I gotta go grab my keys and we're gonna head out and try to catch this rabbit. All right, you guys, I'm here at my grandma's house right now. We're just grabbing our trap right here. I'm hoping we can find this rabbit. You know, right now it's about, I don't know, one in the afternoon and I don't know where the rabbit could be right now. It seems like it would be pretty hot for a rabbit to be outside. But What's up? Put the trap down. Here. I am here. I'm glad you finally made it over here because I've been looking and I've been worried to death that there's a little rabbit running around here somewhere. And okay. I, I haven't seen it for a couple of days, but I saw it before they put that fence up next door. Okay. And I think. Oh, uh, wow, that's new. What happened was once they put the fence up, I think the, the rabbit got frightened and okay. somehow it came into my place. Got, and I, all right. I think it was staying underneath their shed over there. Now it might be under my shed. Okay, okay, okay. And, and I uh, actually, actually, I saw him like yesterday afternoon and when I came out he quickly disappeared and I just hope you can you can catch him before something happens to him because I'm afraid that there's some animals around here like and cats, he, yeah like well food. I mean there's a lot of there's some animals here that, that prowl at night and they and this rabbit could could very well be one of the prey and I'm so frightened because it, this rabbit is so cute and it's little and it, yeah, it's, it's defenseless. It's so defenseless. So we have to, you have to catch this thing before something happens to it. All right. Well, I, I mean, hope you do. You seem concerned. Do you want to keep it afterwards? No, I mean, I really don't have any desire to keep a rabbit because I've got a cat. And my cat is a Siamese cat. It's a, it's a uh, white Siamese. And it won't tolerate another animal really? around here. So you think it'll eat he it? Might, he might even attack this poor little rabbit. Really? So. Well, Grandpa, I mean, where should we start looking? Under the shed? I don't know. I mean, I think you should, if you got All a right. trap, you, didn't you bring the trap? I brought the trap. Oh, well, if you brought the trap, I think we should set the trap someplace in the back or wherever. Yep. That's kind of secluded. Got it. And maybe make some noise over in here. And maybe the... Uh, All right, bro. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, and it seems to me, if you make some noise, you come out and get it, and you see, maybe we'll get him into the trap. And well, we're gonna bait the trap, we're gonna put some oh, carrots. Oh, fine, well, that's, he's probably hungry, because I haven't fed him. All right, Yeah. let's so, do it. Well, have at it, bro. All right, let's go. Trapper. He's going inside for some lunch. I'm gonna continue the steak out, continue to look under here. I mean, this area right in here, I mean, yeah, my grandpa's got a bunch of stuff. 
but it's not a bad thing because there's just all kinds of random stuff. Where do I think this rabbit's living? I think the rabbit's living under the shed because it's going to give it a lot of protection, but it's literally impossible to like see under there. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, wait, you can kind of see under there. It's really, really, really pitch black under there. So our best bet is to set this trap and wait for it. The trap is here. Now I just got to feed this carrot through, kind of twist it in. And when I'm twisting it in, it's kind of like messing up. Oh, yep. All right, let's go do this. Look at that. That's going to be perfect right there. So when if he wants to come this way, he can maybe go around. I mean, I really don't know how big it is. He said it's a small, cute rabbit. So I'm assuming it's like, I don't know, three pounds maybe. The trap is set. So what's going to happen is if the rabbit comes in the trap, he's going to go dee -dee 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 -dee, and he's going to step right on that. That is attached to a little wire here that's going to set off the trap and the door is going to slam shut and we'll have trapped our rabbit. Perfect. Right there. So I'm hoping this little rabbit is going to come out of here. It's going to smell the carrot and he's going to crawl in. So in the meantime for this stakeout, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to watch through the windows right here with my grandpa and maybe we'll even catch the rabbit on the outside grazing the grass. So it's been about 15 minutes since the trap has been set, but I'm not going to go out there just yet because I don't want to disturb the rabbit if it's there. But let me flip it around right now. Let's see if we can spot anything. All right, let's see. Let's use our zoom. And I'm not seeing much. Oh, wait, what is that? All right, I can see better if I actually look through the glass and not the lens. Oh my gosh, Grandpa, Grandpa, look at this. Grandpa, it's right there. Where it's, is it? It's right under your little pool, pool thingy. Really? Yes, Hang really. Hang on a minute. Really, was, really, he's there. I was just resting to, so, I, so I can have the strength to chase this thing. Oh, the strength to chase him. Look, 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 look. Where just is he? Oh. Well, I'm, I'm not going to go out there. I'm not going go to go scare him. But guys, I don't know if you could see this on the camera, but you could see his little feet. He's like right in there. But I don't want to oh, go. I see him. Right? Now you see, now you see him, right? Yeah. I mean, wow. I don't want to I don't wanna go disturb him. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Really? Really? Yeah, he's moving. Really? Where is he? He's, he's looking. He's like trying yeah. to get his bearings on what to do next. Okay, I see that little white thing, guys, right there. Right there. It's right there. He's, he's right in there. Oh, he, yeah. He's right underneath that pool hose uh, rack. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't, I, I'm going to leave him. I don't want to disturb him. I don't want to scare him. I'm going to wait for him. Think he's gonna make it over by the trap? I mean, maybe, yeah. but I don't. I don't really want to well, scare him too much. Well, what what do you want me to do? I mean, I can, I can come around the other way if you want me to. Uh, to see if we can corral him over to where the trap is. Um, I just want to leave him there for now. He's just oh, kind of okay. hanging out. All right, guys, we're going to continue our stakeout. We're just going to sit here and observe this right, rabbit. Well, guys, he just hopped around the corner a minute ago. Grandpa, he hopped around the corner. We got to go. We got to go. So he just hopped around the corner. Not too sure where he could be. Wow, that's great. I should have kept a, I should have kept a better eye on him. That's nice. That's just absolutely great. Great. Now that's good. Go around the other side so we can corral him. Yeah, yeah. You go, you go on this side. You go on this side. Sure. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like a maze trying to find this thing. Whoa. Well, my trap idea didn't work out that well. Well, where is that? Should I go around the shed here? No, no, no. I, he's probably in this area no, right here. I thought here. you would keep an eye on Wait, wait. I got him. 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 I thought you were keeping an eye on Well, I was. Look at him. Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at him. He just went right inside of this little concrete oh block. Oh, my gosh. Here he is hiding. Yeah. That's better than the trap. Yeah. Huh. Well, I, <laughs> get him. Get him. Yeah, I, I, I am. I don't, very, very gently now. Don't hurt well, him. Well, I don't know if he's going to bite me. Rabbits can well, bite pretty hard. Come on. Come you on. I might go deeper in there. Oh, no. you got him. Oh, oh my look gosh. Look, 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 look. He's trying to get away. Well, oh my gosh, out. he's albino too. Look at that. Well, oh he my is gosh. really cute. Look at this little guy. Oh, oh my man. goodness. Oh my gosh. What are we, what are we going to do with him now? Uh, I'm tend to take him home. Well, I do hope you, so. Do you want him? No, no, I can't because Come of my here. Cat. Come, come hold the rabbit. Come my here. Cat, oh my gosh. My, my cat won't tolerate this rabbit. Oh, he's such a baby. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You talk about Easter Bunny. Listen, look at this thing. We really work right. on Easter. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, we need some Easter eggs around here now. But has do your neighbors have look rabbits? Look at that. I don't know where he came from. I have no idea, but I just saw him a few, you know, like I said, a couple a couple of days ago. He was hopping yeah. around, you know? Oh wow. my gosh. We got him gosh. anyway, so. Grandpa, mission accomplished. Absolutely. Let me hang on here. Yeah. Good move. 
You right. better take them now before something happens. All right. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so glad right. we got them. Wow. Guys. And he didn't wind up in my yeah. pool and drown. You know? Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah. Whoa, watch out, buddy. Don't run away. Guys, I want all of you to go and comment down below if you've seen an albino rabbit before. Wait, wait. I'm sorry, buddy. All Just righty. wait. I got you. All right. I got you. Wow, he's so nice. Look, he, I probably could have ran over to him when he was under there. He didn't really run away that much. So, guys, he is albino, so you don't want to keep him in the direct sun because the direct sun can hurt their eyes. Guys, almost instantly from touching the rabbit, I haven't touched my face yet, I immediately started sneezing. I'm super allergic to these little guys, but albino animals are normally pretty tame just because they're albino. They can't see very well, but this guy is acting a little lethargic. He's kind of holding his head down, so he very well might be sick from being out here. So here, Grandpa, thank you for the box. Yeah, Appreciate well, it. listen, let me help you. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. It. Let me help you open, open it. Okay, it up. there it is. All right. There you go. There he is. Guy. So I'm gonna take this little guy home right now. All My right. sister's going to tend to him because. Hey, listen, Jacob. Thank you so much for coming You're over. You're welcome. And, and and getting this uh, rabbit because I was afraid something really really bad was gonna happen to it. Yep, that's and what I do. Yeah. All right, guys, so I just got home, and oh, wait, there's my mom, so I got to show her right now. She has no idea about this. Mom, look what I just found at Grandma's. Oh, my gosh, it's like my bunny I had when I was younger. Right, but it's so cute. So cute. So nice for for what? being found. Well, it was for sure someone's pet. That's oh, something. my goodness, look at your little face. Yeah, or it could be sick, that's oh why it's my, like this. Yeah, that's true, look bunny. Look at him, he's just like... I hope he's not sick. Look at him, he's just like... Oh, but he's, I don't he's, know. He looks like he's enjoying being pet. So this is the bin we're going to be quarantining the little bunny in. I've also got a puppy pad that we're going to line it with, so when it pees, it absorbs right into that. So there's the rabbit right there. Let's kind of try to open this one-handed. I think we can do it. I can't open uh, this one-handed. All right. Just want to line that little bin oh, right there sure, with it. Sure. Also want to get a little water dish for this guy. Oh, goodness. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Perfect. Come here, little guy. Oh, wow. You're like right in the corner. Come here, little dude. Here you go. Now, like I was saying before, guys, albino animals. You can see his red eyes. Let's see if you can see it good right here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell right in here, but when an animal has red eyes, it uh, means they're albino, and albinos typically can't see very well. They're normally naturally tame. There you go, little guy. So this is where I'm going to be quarantining the rabbit for now. I'm not going to give it any bigger of a space for now, because sometimes, especially when they're in a new environment, if you give them a huge area, they're actually more stressed out. So for the time being, he's going to live in there. And right now, I'm gonna go get him a little water dish and some hay. Hay is very, very healthy for these rabbits. Why? Rabbits need a high fiber diet. So that's what we're gonna give them. Here you go, little one. Here you go, there's some water. Here, look. Look, drink the water. Look, I want you to see it. Oh yeah, look at her, she's thirsty. She probably hasn't had water in a while. Look how yummy that is. Look how good. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. Here you go. Try some of that. Want some hay? Yeah, she's real nervous right now. She may not eat for a couple days. That's typical with new animals, but let's see. Wait, are you gonna eat it? Are you gonna eat it? Nope, she's not gonna eat it. I don't know, maybe she will. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And that, my friends, is going to end today's video. Hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. Now guys, I have not forgot about picking a winner from the last video for the three baby redfoot tortoises. So I wanna give a special shout out to Tom for picking the name The Three Amigos. Love the name, thanks for picking that, Tom. Great name. Also guys, if you wanna win a rental iguana t-shirt, make sure to follow all the rules from the beginning of the video. You guys are gonna to have to be subscribed, like this video, and comment down below your shirt size, and I will pick a winner in about a week and a half. So make sure you do that. And last but not least, very, very important that we do this. I need a name for this new baby white rabbit. So guys, go comment down below a name, and I will pick a winner in the next video.